Hey there, Fiverr. Welcome back. For today's research mission, we're going to attempt to locate and study one of the most fearsome elder dragons inhabiting the New World. And no, it's not the Kushala Deora you see behind me. Kushala Deora are intelligent, peaceful creatures. The Kushala won't attack a human researcher unless it feels threatened. The same cannot be said about the subject of this mission. The elder dragon we're looking for is a Nergigante. The Elder's Recess, home to some of the most powerful monsters known to the Hunter's Guild, is a mysterious volcanic cave system covered in the crystallized bioenergy of Elder Dragons. This Nergigante we're hunting has taken over the home village of a tribe of Gajalaka who live here in the Elder's Recess and used it as its nesting ground. It's possible that by removing this beast from the caverns, we may be able to make peace with the Gajalaka and gain their trust. Nergigante, also known as the Extinction Dragon, is one of the most violently aggressive creatures in the New World. The Nergigante attacks on sight. I've attempted to reason with it, to pacify the dragon. I'm convinced that this cannot be done, and left with no choice but to defend myself. This Nergigante is a dangerous opponent, and won't go down without a fight. Unlike most dragons, it doesn't possess any elemental powers, but instead uses its supply of stored bioenergy to grow and regenerate the layers of heavy spikes which armor its body. When the spikes first grow in, they are brittle and pale, but in a short time, they harden and can easily deflect the cut of a hunter's blade. It's best to attack the Nergigante when its spikes are still pale, as this is its most vulnerable moment. The Nergigante attacks with such fierceness that it will often damage its own body, shedding spikes as it slams its heavy frame onto the stony cavern floor. Nergigante are drawn here to the Elder's Recess by the massive amounts of bioenergy present in this place. Nergigante are known to feed primarily on other Elder Dragons, which are rich in the same bioenergy. One of the first Nergigante ever observed in the New World traveled to this place on the back of a mountainous dying Elder Dragon known as Zora Magdaros. After the five fleets successfully drove Zora Magdaros back into the ocean, the Nergigante, deprived of its meal, was forced to search out other sources of bioenergy here in the Elder's Recess. Aside from the Nergigante, there are very few creatures known by the Hunter's Guild to have ever fed on an Elder Dragon. The Brute Wyvern Devil Joe is one such beast. It will feed on anything it can kill, including Elder Dragons. There is also the fanged beast Rajang, which often feeds on Kirin in order to harvest their elemental energy. One final entry into this category of Elder Dragon Eaters, strangely enough, is the Keizu. While it is true a full-grown Keizu could never overpower an Elder Dragon, Keizu whelps have been known to nest in and slowly devour the discarded exoskeletons of Kushala Deora. Ultimately, the greatest weakness of the Nergigante is its own blind aggression. With each failed attack, it damages its body and weakens its armor, yet there is no limit to this strange creature's hostility. Only in death will this Elder Dragon finally know peace. The Hunter's Guild will harvest the body of this fallen Elder Dragon. Its spikes and scales can be fashioned into powerful weapons and armor, but maybe there's something more we can gain from the death of this dragon. Maybe there's a lesson here. Sometimes, we Hunters of the Five Fleets can be our own worst enemy, rushing headlong into battle, unprepared, and without truly understanding our adversaries can be a dangerous choice. There's still so much to learn about this new world and about the creatures that inhabit it. Strength alone isn't enough to survive long outside the gates of Astera. We need knowledge. As always, this has been Strawfoot. If you enjoyed this video, you should know that I didn't create it alone. Research assistance was provided by Band Dino. Band Dino, also known as Band Wyvarian, posts interesting facts about the lore and history of Monster Hunter just about every day, and his Twitter feed is well worth following. There's a link in the description. Of course, I couldn't have made this video without the generous support of my Patreon crew, so yeah, shout out. You guys are rad. Thank you so much. Oh, and one more thing. I'm planning on traveling to San Francisco for the MHW World Championships. If you're going to be there, make sure to find me and say hi. I'd love to meet some of you in person. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to click all the buttons, you know, the YouTube thing, and maybe stop by my Discord or Patreon if you have time. There's links to everything below. Until next time, happy hunting and peace out.